Hey everyone, so I'm just being a total perfectionist today and I've refilmed this a few times, but um, I am doing a CVS haul as you can tell by the title and if anything about this whole setting and everything looks familiar, that's because I just filmed a haul in, or not a haul, um, that's what I'm doing now, a outfit of the day and I'm doing a CVS haul and everything I bought was on sale and um, I was looking for some products in particular. I've been feeling the need for like a new mascara and so I was looking for mascara and then I also wanted like a dark lip color for an event um, that will be occurring soon. I will tell you about it and then also some hair products. If I didn't already say that I might have. Anyway um, so Garnier products at CVS right now are three for ten dollars which is basically like kind of the equivalent of like buy two get one free for them because almost all their products are about five dollars which is really affordable um, on its own, but then they were on sale, so I figured I would go for it and I'd get three because I like know that I'll use them. And I always say that about like a ton of hair products that I stop using halfway through, but that's just because they're like generally unsatisfying. But then these are actually like really a good price, so if I don't use them, I don't feel like I wasted that much money. Um, so anyway, a big thing right now for me with my hair is I haven't been trimming it that much, which is not very healthy, but um, it's because I'm, I trim my own hair um, because I just am usually unhappy with like the result when I get it trimmed by someone else and I'm really confused on how to trim it with like the way my hair is dyed because like the blonde starts on my first layer and I don't want to like pretty much I would like cut off all the blonde part from my first layer and I really don't want to like mess it up because I do like the way my hair is dyed. Um, so I feel like because um, I haven't been trimming it, it is really heavy and it's weighing down and there's a lack of volume and I'm like obsessive about volume. Um, like by my standards, there's almost never enough volume unless you're like snooky or wearing a bump it or something. Wow, that sounded so condescending. I totally didn't mean that to anyone who likes bump bits and snooky. Um, that's just not my style. Anyway, so I got the Garnier Fructis Volumizing Anti-Humidity Hairspray. And I got this one because it is volumizing and I needed a new hairspray. Um, at my mom's house, I'm out. And then here, um, the one I have just doesn't really suffice. Um, it doesn't work the way I want it to. So I got this one and originally I kind of went into the hair aisle being like, I kind of need a new hairspray. Um, I sent my mom on a CVS run for at her house to get one. Um, but I do need a new one here. So I probably like won't transport this between houses, but I just needed it. I don't have, I have one hairspray here, but it's not aerosol, which I feel like eliminates some of the volume aspect of hairspray. So I got this and then also for volume, I got the Garnier Fructis Body Boost Root Booster. And um, this is kind of like in between a gel and a liquid. It's like a really thick liquid. And it says to use it, you need to blow dry your hair. I hope you don't, but um, if you do, that's okay. I just don't generally use heat on my hair. Um, I feel like that takes a lot of time that I don't want to, um, I think I have a lot more important things to do with my time than style my hair when I feel like it doesn't necessarily need it. I can understand if you have like super crazy hair and you need to style it, but I don't. So um, I just don't really style my hair very much. Um, usually for me styling it is like doing a hairstyle, not actually using like a curling iron or a straightening iron or anything like that. Um, so I got this for volume and hopefully it will work just um, with like air drying my hair, putting in damp hair and then not using blow dryer. And then to enhance my waves, I was between the wave enhancer or the curl shaping spray gel and I got the curl shaping spray gel because um, I figured my hair, since it's so heavy right now, will need like a little extra help to bring the waviness back. Um, the waviness didn't technically disappear, it's just because it's so heavy that there are no waves. So I got this and hopefully it works and crossing my fingers, I have yet to find like the super amazing, like the most amazing curl enhancing, um, product. The Herbal Essences Totally Twisted Gel works pretty well, but um, I'm just hoping to find something I'm more satisfied with than that. But that so far has actually been the one that I like the most, more than the mousse, in case you're curious. So I got this. And then, so that was all three for $10. So that was all $10, which is a pretty, like, actually a really good deal. Um, 
And then Rimmel was buy one, get one for 50% off. So I got the um, Rimmel Sexy Curves Full Body Mascara. A lot of gurus have been using the um, Rimmel Sexy Curves like original. And um, I bought the original like waterproof. Um, but then I like took out the stopper because I didn't feel like the brush was bringing out enough formula and then that just messed everything up because now it brings out like literally everything in the tube with the wand. So I'm probably going to need to toss that out. I don't know why I keep it in my make in like my makeup box, but I do. Anyway, I got this because so many gurus have been using it and I'm just really looking for something that makes my lashes awesome. I have so many mascaras and I think they're awesome until I realize they're kind of not as much awesome as I thought like as awesome as I thought um I will probably go back to Maybelline the falsies my mom is going to buy that for me there's some things that my mom will buy for me then things like this where it's more me experimenting I buy for myself um and now I'm broke so it wasn't that expensive but I just have been spending a lot of money lately which is just kind of I wonder if my horoscope says anything about that because usually it does um it's usually kind of accurate Anyway, so I got this, and the difference between this and the original is that the brush, instead of being plastic, it has, like, real bristles, like the brushy bristles, if that makes sense. So that's basically just the only difference, and which, like, that gives it more volume, I suppose. And then, because it was buy one, get one for 50% off, I got the Match Perfection Concealer, which is a two-in-one concealer and highlighter, and I bought this because, um... I have the Match, the Match Perfection Foundation, and I kind of like it. My skin's really oily, so I just don't really use it that often. Um, but it gives a nice amount of coverage, and Sarah Bell, 93X, talked about this in a video, and I thought I'd want to try it because the Match Perfection Foundation formula is actually pretty good. It's just that I'm really oily, so I just tend not to use it as often because it doesn't, um, like, mattify. So I got this because that is not... Um, such an important aspect for me in concealer and so it's concealer and highlighter and this is the second lightest color but it was the lightest one they had at my CVS so hopefully it is um, my shade and then I went to the Revlon section which was buy one get one 50% off and forever I've been wanting the matte 002 pink pout lipstick and because um, I just love the formula of these and I love matte lipsticks and I've been eyeing it forever and pretty much just recently I was like, okay, next time Revlon goes on sale, I just need to get it. Like, I can be really cheap. And so I've just not been buying it because I'm like, I'm just not going to buy it for myself. But I also know like my mom wouldn't buy it for me. So I just bought it. And I really like it. Um, this was like an unboxing, unpackaging haul, but I, this is like a refilm, so I don't really have to take it out of the box. Um... Plus, there weren't really any boxes. The only box was what I'm about to show you. But this was, like, in plastic. Um, I already swatched it. And it's this pinky color right here. It's awesome. Like, it's really nice and rosy. It's more of a medium pink than, like, an ice pink, which I really like. Um, ice pinks I tend not to lean towards because it kind of clashes with my skin tone. Um, I have, like, I don't want to sound cocky at all, but... I have very nicely shaped lips. Um, it's like one of the things I actually appreciate about my face is I like the shape of my lips. So um, I feel like really white, icy, um, cool lip glosses often don't enhance that or um, flatter that. So I really am happy with the color of this because it's such like a medium rosy pink um, and it's matte and it's really pretty. And so I bought that, and I'm really happy that I finally bought that. I feel like I got a lot of use out of it. It's actually a lot more of a color that I would wear during, like, spring and summer rather than fall and winter because I gravitate towards, like, dark lip colors during fall and winter. But at least I have it now because I'm sure I will get a lot of use out of it eventually. If it's not this season or the next, I will. I will use it. Um, and then because it's fall, I've been gravitating towards a lot of dark colors. And then also... Um, it's like one of my best friends. We've been best friends since we were little. She is um, she's younger than me, but I mean, we've just been best friends forever. And it is her sweet 16 this weekend. And I'm on her like, she decided she wants to have like a VIP list. So I'm on her VIP list. And um, I just got a text from Muriel, all of our best friends. 
Um, um, best friend, singular. Muriel's one person. Um, awkward. I just made that so much more uncomfortable than that needed to be. Anyway, um, so I like, I've already planned out my outfit and I figured the perfect like makeup look to complement it would be um, spider lashes and really deep lips. And it's mostly like, I watched um, Ashley's Beauty Corners video of spider lashes and like vampy lips and I really liked it and I loved how it looks and I was like, okay, I think that's what I wanna do. Um, it's at this like nightclub concert place that she rented out and so I feel like I can just like kind of have as much fun with it as I want. So I bought the Revlon Colorstay lip liner in plum and the like the color that it looked like like on the box like on the paper I was like okay like if it's close enough to that um I can manipulate it to a color that I'm looking for and originally I was kind of thinking I would want MAC Rebel but I don't want to I don't know how much use I would actually get out of this color. So I didn't want to spend that much on it. So I figured I would like get it on sale when I can. Not MAC, like this, because it's like close enough. And it turned out to be pretty like similar. It's actually the perfect color. Um, I think I'm gonna to top it off with like a purple lip gloss. Um, and it's really pretty. It is the perfect fall color. Um, most people will line their lips and then put lipstick on top, but I just use the liner and I'll leave out and fill in my lips and I'll either leave it or um, put a gloss on top. But I don't normally put lip liner and lipstick because that just feels like so much on your lips because some people will put like lip liner and lipstick and lip gloss and I just don't understand like having like that much product on your lips and feeling comfortable and also it likes staying. I'm considering buying a lip primer because I do focus a lot of like attention on my lips and use interesting colors and it's a bummer when they were off. But anyway, I got this and I'm really happy I did and overall so far I'm really happy with the products I bought. I'm happy with I got with what I got from Revlon and I know that I will actually use both of those a lot. Um, Hopefully my Rimmel products turn out well. I know I already like the Garnier hairspray because I actually used a little bit of it before this video. And yeah, if anyone is interested in reviews, please comment down below and let me know what you would like me to review. And um, yeah, just comment whatever down below too. I mean, it doesn't have to be a review obviously. Um, and subscribe, I love you all and thank you for watching. And 